Banani, bonjour, hello and welcome to Check Your Freedom. It is always a pleasure being here with you as we discuss issues that matter to us, the youth of Africa. Today we are going to be discussing the state of education in Africa. And before we start with our discussion, I want you to have a look at this. The biggest challenges facing education in Africa are those of access and quality. The COVID-19 pandemic has made educational continuity close to impossible for children who were already disadvantaged before the pandemic, young girl learners being the most affected. What should governments do to improve the state of education in Africa? Although there are a number of causes resulting in unequal access to education for learners, governments should address these challenges by focusing on the lowest hanging fruit first. Interventions for learners affected by disruptions, such as those caused by the pandemic, should be rolled out equitably. The social challenges that affect poor children should be addressed, thus allowing learning to happen with minimal disruptions. Remedial education, access to social workers, and digital literacy should be high on government's priorities lists. Inviting you to take our amazing digital quiz on www.checkyourfreedom.tv and I'm happy to announce we have five lucky winners whose names will be on the credit list at the end of the show. Congratulations to you all, we hope you enjoy your prizes. It's now time to connect with our amazing young voices as they weigh in on our topic, education in Africa. Let's go meet them. Why is equitable access to basic education so important? And considering the fact that the foundation levels are even more important, um, it allows and it then allows someone to be able to grow further than what is just taught within the box of EDK of, 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 of ways learning because it teaches him how to think and how to grow, not necessarily what to think and in what way to grow. How should governments respond to the way the COVID-19 pandemic has disrupted access to education for learners in Africa? I think that when government is trying to come up with solutions to problems in education that existed before COVID-19 and those that came about as a result of it, it is important that they realize that they are not the only stakeholder and they shouldn't try to monopolize the field of solutions because a lot of these innovative solutions that are cross-cutting will actually come from young people who are on the ground, who are familiar with the situation and who are more in touch with what is going on than government officials might be. What should the youth do to hold governments to account on the provision of quality basic education? Whenever there is bills or, or acts that are being brought about regarding this, Participate. Be actively part of that of, of that part of the discussion. Um, comment on the bill. If the bill is not, if the bill will not work, come. Don't be afraid to comment on it. Um, speak up about it, um, and even go as far as lobbying um, to to have more people um, understand the young person's view. We took our cameras to the streets to get more opinions from the youth on this issue. We asked them whether they think the government is doing enough to ensure equitable access to basic education. And this is what they had to say. Do I think that the government is giving enough access to basic education? Yes, I do. But I still think this needs to be changes regarding that because there are some students that need to walk a longer distance to reach their destination. And that affects them at school because they tend to arrive at school very tired and they can't concentrate at all. I do feel the government can do more, such as actually managing their funds better, being more transparent to where their funds are actually going, providing um, access, like infrastructure like fixing infrastructure in rural areas so children can actually go to schools because there's still reports of children crossing rivers barefoot not going to school because there is a transportation issue there's a strike somewhere remember to check out our social media pages and tell us what you think about our topic for this episode while you're online Check out our interactive Check Your Freedom digital quiz, share it with your friends and family. This is our last episode for this season and it has been amazing being with you over the past weeks. 
Stay in touch with us on our socials and we hope to see you again soon. From me, Tando Kaba, goodbye.